Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we will put in semi hydroponics this Hoya Australis Lisa that I got from eBay. I brushed the roots, they, they came with a lot of um, compost in a bag. It was in the post, I think. I think it was for four days. Uh, but looks really well. Just the tip. I will cut the tip off because it's really soft. So it's looking really well. So this is my next victim. I also have. This beauty, Hoya Kerry variegated, has three new, new leaves. This is from the Ginger Jungle, so I will link her down below. Most most of my plants are from the Ginger Jungle, but I didn't got to repot them yet, so that's why I didn't spoke about her. But I will in my next video i think i'm not sure because i i'm not organized at all i don't know what i'm doing every day so this will go in semi hydroponics i don't know if today i still don't want to mess with the roots because cleaning the roots it's quite stressful for the plant that's why i prefer to order plants from eBay that are coming bare rooted and I just got today from uh, the customs a letter that one of my plants was destroyed I don't know which one but uh, I will have to investigate because one seller from eBay from which I bought the Philodendron White Wizard and the Syngonium Podophyllum uh, Albo, Podophyllum Albo. That seller was supposed to send me something uh, in return because the plant that he had pictures on eBay were plants with six seven eight nine leaves really big and my white wizard when it came had three leaves and my syngonium had two so and they were 100 pounds both of them the white princess was 70 and the syngonium was 30 so he was supposed to send me a rhizome and I think, I don't know how he managed, but it's without a phytosanitary certificate. Usually they don't declare what they are sending. And if the custom made a, a checkout, usually the plants that I order from Thailand, I'm always asking the sellers if they provide a phytosanitary certificate so I don't have any issues with the customs. And till now, from uh, five or six sellers that uh, I bought plants from, just one, uh, it's providing the, no, just, just from that seller, the phytosanitary certificate, it's five pounds for a plant or for a box. I'm not sure. I'm not sure because he's putting everything with the shipment cost. So, but the other ones, they, they all, they, they will say uh, it's no need the phytosanitary certificate because you don't, you, you will not have any problems. But if the custom, uh, is checking the package it will burn the plant so that happened today I, I need to check that out and get in touch with the seller again because it was a 45 pound rhizome 
it was for free but still I paid 100 pounds or 100 pounds for three leaves so he needs to do something about it and uh, yeah and most sellers are uh, asking for I think it's 25 pounds for a phytosanitary certificate from Thailand they usually ask for amazing prices but yeah that's it with um we will talk about those in another video so this will go in semi hydroponics i know that i should give you some care tips and instructions about the plants but Someone, so, someone sent me a message why I don't give any care tips and instructions how to uh, grow those plants or how to water them or how to propagate them, propagate them. But there are so many videos on YouTube about how to propagate the uh, Hoya or uh, Monstera or whatever you want. And so many care tips that I've, I don't see the point to give them to you but on the other hand I don't do anything in particular for any of my plants they all have the same treatment uh, they all sit in a room that it's facing wait, it's facing west I'm crap with geography just crap Right, so it's facing west, so I will have sun during the day, uh, during the morning, in this room. No sun, in, no sun, yeah, no direct sun in the afternoon, because sun will move on the other side of the house. So, I have some plants there as well, but they are far away from the window. I have some plants in the bathroom that it's east as well. So, because I have plants everywhere, but I don't do any anything different for them. I just, the ones that I still have in compost, the compost is compost, perlite, and leca pebbles. I mix them in my compost, and they are doing just, just fine. They, they don't have any issues issue with that. I was advised not to mix the compost with the leca pebbles, but I don't like to follow rules. So, guess what? I mixed it. Nothing happened. It's holding the the perfect uh, quantity of moist that the plant needs. I will water my plants, the ones that are in compost, uh, every 10 days even in summer because that leca will hold the moist in the pot so I, I know I don't follow rules so I will put some leca on the bottom doesn't have a big root structure so I will just try to spread them in the lacquer I think I put way too much yeah that's that fine -ish. yeah so that is why I'm not giving you any tips or tricks or however you are calling those to care for plants. There are so, so many YouTubers. Sorry for the noise again. But I found it easier to just pour with the watering can the like a bit. So there are so many YouTubers that are giving really good explanation and scientific, scientific facts and country of origin and anything oh it's on the floor and uh, so i don't see the point in doing that apart that there uh there is a youtuber called 
plants and paint plants and paint if i'm not wrong i will link his link in the description below uh that it has it, he's taking one plant and he, he will tell you everything that he finds everything that he knows everything about that plant so go and check him out he has loads of information and another youtuber that i really like it's i hope i am saying this right it's ilum life ilum life anyway i will link her in the description below you can check her out because she has such an amazing collection of philodendrons not jealous at all at the moment no <clears throat> no and i'm just joking she has she has an amazing collection of philodendrons and philodendrons well i did latin in school so i hope my latin teacher it's not uh watching this and yeah she has quite a uh, quite an impressive collection and so 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 nice videos so go and check her out as well so if you want more information about about plants you have uh, plants and paint and um, ilum life as well if you want to go in the more scientific part of the plant there is now again I, i'm sorry if i pronounce it wrong there is kylie ellen kylie ellen she's from england as well she has she uh, she j just opened a few months ago a, a rare plant shop i think it's called the rare plant shop i couldn't ever manage to buy anything from there every lounge no I I was not fast enough anyway she has loads of video really detailed and specific about certain plants or family plants or whatever you want to know that's her uh, and I have another youtuber that I like and because of that youtuber I got to know the ginger jungle uh, website Suzanne's website but I, I, I will tell that story in another video with my first tropical plant that I ever bought I didn't buy it from the tropical ginger jungle but I will tell that story another time so here is my Hoya Australia Lisa I think it's called it's not quite like in the picture in the picture she had a few reddish leaves um, not this one but I'm quite happy with it I think it was 12 13 pounds uh, I'm not sure but yeah I'm quite happy with her and I will put her somewhere to have some morning light, direct morning light, sunlight, morning light, however is that cold, and hopefully she will do all right because everybody, excuse me, everybody saying that Hoya do not like to be watered, you have to leave them dry off and after that water them. Well. I will beg the difference. My Hoya Lanceolata Bella, Hoya Bella, right? If I don't water her for one week, you can see on the leaves. All the leaves are all wrinkled and they don't like it at all. And even if the soil is moist, she still doesn't like it. So I water that every four days. And I don't have any issue with her. She's putting flowers like crazy. So, well, I don't know. It's working for me. That doesn't mean it will work for you. Yeah, just to make that clear. So, this is, this is it for today. I hope tomorrow I will tell you a story about me 
and my first tropical plant and how I got in all this, uh, well, how my husband is saying, obsessions, obses obsession with plants. So, because according to my husband, I'm obsessed now. Well, probably I am, but I, I do something. I, I need something to do with my life. That didn't sound right, right? Anyway, alright guys, see you tomorrow and have a nice day. Bye!